Uh, we also have a proclamation for uh, declaring August 21st, uh, or August 2021, as American Muslim Appreciation Awareness Month. Yes, in August, the council signed a proclamation declaring August 2021 as American Muslim Appreciation and Awareness Month, and now we have the privilege of presenting it. After I read the proclamation, Munir Safi and the Muslim community of the East Bay and Spojme Nasiri with the Council on American Islamic Relations for the San Francisco Bay Area, Bay Area will accept the proclamation and share some comments. So whereas enriched by the diversity of its residents, the city of Pleasanton takes pride in supporting individual relig religious freedoms for all and is strengthened by the contributions made by the many diverse religious and cultural traditions of its residents, including those who practice Islam. And whereas Alameda County is home to over 90,000 Muslims who make innumerable contributions to the cultural, political, and economic fabric and well being of our city, county, state, and nation. And whereas with the COVID 19 outbreak, forcing the temporary closure of Muslim nonprofits, community centers, mosques, and other establishments. Local mosques and Muslim community organizations provided online programming and outdoor services. And whereas mosques and local Muslim organizations, such as the Muslim Community Center of the East Bay and the Islamic Center of Zara, stepped in to help the entire community during the pandemic by donating funds, distributing food, and sewing masks for frontline workers as well as educating their congregations about social distancing guidelines to keep the community safe. And whereas, though the Islamic practice of zakat, local Muslim organizations help give back to the community by providing grocery deliveries and financial assistance to local families, organizing quarterly blood drives, food drives, and backpack drives for school children, as well as many other charitable activities serving individuals and families throughout the community, and now, therefore, it be resolved, the Pleasanton City Council does hereby proclaim August 2021 as American Muslim Appreciation and Awareness Month to acknowledge the rich history and contributions of American Muslims in our community, and may it have a lasting positive impact for our city, state, and nation. At this time, I would like to introduce Munir and Spojme with the Muslim Community Center of the East Bay to say a few words. Good evening. Uh, this is Munir Safi. Uh, good evening, Mayor and Council. Thank you so much for honoring our state's uh, de designation of August being Muslim Appreciation and, and Awareness Month. This is the sixth year this designation has happened in California, and the hundreds of Muslim families in Pleasanton and the nearly 15,000 Muslims in the Tri-Valley, we truly appreciate the Pleasant City Council uh, presenting this proclamation this evening. Uh, so I'm representing Pleasanton's Muslim Community Center, the MCC. The MCC is a vibrant uh, regional mosque uh, and a community center. We've been on West Las Pacifica Boulevard for the past 11 years. And I'm joined today by colleagues and congregation from the Islamic Center of Zahra, also in Pleasanton, who are watching along. So uh, American Muslims, we've lived and contributed to our community since our country's founding. And in the last decade and a half, the impact of Islamophobia has been real. But despite the uncertainties, uh, we continue our blood drives, our voting drives, uh, highway cleanups, uh, our thrice weekly uh, food distribution. Uh, we have an open door policy at our Friday services. Uh, we serve as a Red Cross disaster site, uh, host ESL classes with the city of Pleasanton, uh, interfaith events, open houses. We're also a green mosque and a special needs friendly mosque. Um, so as you can hear, we're, we're just part and parcel of our community. And I can tell you that this, this recognition makes a world of difference uh, for your Pleasanton constituents who are Muslim. So again, on behalf of Pleasanton and uh, Tri-Valley residents who are Muslim, we thank you for this proclamation and this recognition. Thank you. All right, thank you for all you do. Uh, that's a long list. And I have seen the food distribution line and it's been considerable. So thank you. Councilmember Arkin, is there anything else? Uh, Spojme, is she? Um, she's joining right now. Okay. That'd be terrific. Good evening, uh, uh, Mayor Brown and Vice Mayor Julie Testa and esteemed council members. My name is Spojme Nasiri. I am um, an immigration attorney in Pleasanton over by Stone Ridge Mall. I'm also an Afghan American and a Muslim American who has lived in Pleasanton for the last 
uh, almost 12 years. Uh, my children went through school and went through Foothill, and they took a lot of pride in the, the rescue mission that was going on for Philip, and um, grateful for the community support. Um, what I wanted to touch on was say, first and foremost, as Munir mentioned, the state of California has designated August as Muslim Appreciation for the last six years. And uh, we're grateful for the city of Pleasanton issuing this proclamation. Um, there are thousands of um, Muslim Americans in the Tri-Valley by the numbers of 15,000, and there are hundreds of um, Muslim Americans and Afghan Americans living right here in the heart of Pleasanton. Um, again, MCC has been in the forefront of, of being progressive and in providing the services that our community needs. What I wanted to touch on was also as an Afghan American, we are seeing the devastation and the catastrophe happening, uh, regardless of our political views. Um, I keep it as a humanitarian uh, perspective in terms of the evacuees and the humanitarian crisis. Um, I have been on the forefront along with many of my uh, colleagues, immigration attorneys, working day and night to, to provide these services and legal services for evacuating Afghan Americans, lawful permanent residents, and those who are in need of uh, being evacuated. One of the things I wanted to mention is, along with myself and in many other community members, uh, not only are we seeing what's on the forefront of the situation in Afghanistan, but we're living a day and night. For myself, you know, for the last two weeks, day and night, I've been up trying to evacuate um, Afghans out of Afghanistan, those allies who have served uh, and supported our government. One of the things I just wanted to touch on again, to say sincere gratitude for the proclamation this evening, but also that although these um, refugees uh, right now seem to be far away, they are going to be uh, coming into our communities in the coming months uh, in the Alameda County and maybe Sacramento area. The MCC has been in the forefront of supporting these refugees in many ways. They're working in conjunction with International Rescue Committee, as well as the Jewish Community Center in Walnut Creek, which are the resettlement agencies. So I'm proud to be a resident of Pleasanton, to be a parishioner of the MCC, and to know that our community as a whole is contributing in a meaningful way that is making not only our community a better place, but the world as a whole. So I thank you again for your time in allowing um, us this opportunity and for uh, making this proclamation in six years in a row. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, Munir and Sposhmi. <laughs>